Hello everyone and welcome back to QuickSafe TV. I'm Mike Pushkin and today I'm going to introduce effective ways of improvement pickpocketing. This video is prodded from another video about pickpocketing. Uh, however, I was dissatisfied with my work and because I didn't, I missed some of the important, uh, important facts about pickpocketing. Now I would like to talk about them first and then show you how to effectively improve it. Um, idea behind pickpocketing is to pick somebody else's pockets, <laughs> to allow you to steal things from somebody else. But it's very hard to start, just like with everything else. Very, very hard to start. It's hard to start upgrading, improving it from the beginning when you don't have sufficient skill. Now, let's go ahead to the apparel and I'm going to demonstrate you my amulet, the one I created specifically to improve pickpocketing. I have this one. Uh, Sarah Tools Ring. Uh, pickpocket success is 40% better. Sneaking is 40% better. I made this ring. I, I'm a master enchanter. I have two effects. Yeah. Some flex in here. The ring costs 3200. But the point is that when you get any, any item which gives you pickpocket success higher, increased percentage, it will help you to start with pickpocketing because in the beginning it's kinda hard. Now let's just demonstrate. Let's just show, let me just show you how do you improve your pickpocket. I would suggest to go to all the major cities, the ones you have discovered, just go to them and start pickpocketing. I personally prefer to steal gold and lockpicks first, then I Nobody save the game. These things were, you know, universal, they, they're useful. Now how to improve the pickpocketing. Let's try to steal this stuff. I'll guess everyone just Stall, very good. And a ring of minor stamina, very good. Pickpocket increased. Now let's continue here. And when you steal things, just make sure that you're hidden. Make sure that you're hidden. It's going to improve your chances. Just keep it in mind. And try to steal different things. Valuable things. Steal gold, some useful stuff for yourself. And always, always, always steal very expensive things. Such as amethysts, uh, rings, any kind of jewelry. It's all very useful. But keep in mind that no matter how high you increase the pickpocketing chance, it will never breach the 90. It seems like I'm, I'm almost sure that it's not going to uh, breach 90 ever, except maybe with keys, because there's corresponding skill for that. So at some point the ring you've made or bought or whatever it is, whatever you have which increases your pickpocketing, will not be as useful and you will be actually just be able to throw it away because, because just because it's not going to improve and you're not going to benefit anything from that. So this kind of item job. we created uh, helps you to we start with the skill, okay? But it's going to be not very useful when you reach uh, a lot uh, a higher skill level. Let's say when you reach 70. It's not really useful anymore, but you know, that was the whole purpose to, to level up <laughs> to this point. When you're unable to sneak Behind the enemy, uh, behind the person, behind the NPC, you can still attempt to do uh, thievery. However, keep in mind that your chances are not going to be as high. However, now it hardly matters because of the, the skill of 85. There are many other skills in pickpocketing which will allow you to more effectively steal things, such as just overall improvement of chances, night thief, po uh, not purse, poison, uh, cut purse, and key master. They're not really useful for improving the skill itself, but they're really practical for someone to take something that's really useful, such as, why don't you steal the gold, right? Why don't you steal the lockpicks or keys? Okay, um, th now on this we're going to conclude the tutorial about uh, how to effectively, how to efficiently improve your pickpocketing skills. I thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for joining us, I hope you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the content. Go ahead, like and subscribe if you did, <laughs> share with your friends and come back for more videos. By the way, the snowflakes you see are another mod. I'm going to talk about mods in the next video. Stay tuned and enjoy your game in Skyrim. Bye-bye.